Greetings, fellow solar noobs. Uh, it's Aaron here. I want to do a quick follow-up on two different parts for you today. Um, as you can see from the screen in front of me, I want to show that we are generating juice from the Rorty, 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 Rover 40 controller. I can tell it's Monday. Um, and then we'll pull up the next screen that has like uh, the, the Ting data going on it. So press play real quick. You can see from the screen cap generating some nice power out of it. We'll switch over to the next screen here. Um, battery packs, you can see putting out some juice. So we'll go ahead and let's close that one real quick and we'll bring up the Ting sensor. Um, as you can see right here, this is the app. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick. Uh, this is what the inside of the app looks like. Um, it's green right now because it goes through like a transitional period where it's like getting that baseline connecting data. So when you first install and start running, running it, you're going to see a different color. But then after it gets its baseline, I can't remember if it was one week or 30 days, but not too long to be able to get your baseline. And then it shows green and then it shows everything that's happening. So we'll uh, go ahead and press play right now. You'll see... Quick disclaimer, how does how does it work? Gives you a quick tidbit. Also does notifications, which is really nice because uh, today we had severe thunderstorm warning and it, the app gave me a, a heads up about it. So this next screen right here, we'll go ahead and pause. You can see that the top is the real-time data for the volts. The bottom part is kind of like the high, the fidelity of... Um, the signal that you have, which I think is pretty slick. Let's go ahead and hit pause again. And then we're going to switch over from the regular line one, because this is the one that's going into the grid power, and then we'll switch over to the solar one in a minute. What is uh, very interesting is noticing uh, with the grid one that the low voltage it drop, has dropped down in the last 30 days to 103, and then we're looking at 1242 for the high in the last 30 days, which is interesting. When we switch over to the solar one, let's pause it real quick. Um, I gotta admit, the 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 Renergy 2000 watt control uh, inverter has been staying pretty consistent compared uh, relatively paired to the grid. So as you can see here, the voltage are low 114.6 is the low, and then the high is 119.7. And right now it's averaging about 116.59. So that's, that's pretty impressive considering there's a lot more money being put on the grid. I think we got Consumers Energy here in West Michigan and no complaints. They, they do a pretty good job. And I'll follow up with some um, uh, another video in regards to the uh, you can purchase or rent or something to do with solar their solar farms and get gener um, get energy credits back to your bill. But anyways, that's not the purpose. This purpose is to show off uh, the Ting sensor and then how we're doing on the inverter after, heck, this has been a couple couple months going. So as you can see, press play. We'll keep this going. Just gently bouncing around between that. The real-time voltage, um, you'll see pretty consistent. Uh, the fidelity, whoops, let me pause that real quick, go back a little bit to the fidelity. That one's having some pause issues here. That one's interesting because the fidelity on this one, and again, I'm a noob, not an electrician. My dad, or what, my dad was a master electrician. I'm just a, a burgeoning learning one. So it'd be interesting to get um, an electrical engineer's comments into why it's such a, such a big range um, with the inverter compared to when we slide it over to where's the real time one for the grid there um as you can see the grid one obviously that's a little bit different that's a lot more consistent so be interested to see um again quick video just want to give everybody up a date i would definitely recommend if you ever st if you're a state farm insurance person to reach out to them about getting into this program I remember right, you get three years paid, and then after that, I think you need to pick up the, the, the subscription fees. But for right now, 
it's just been great monitor using it to to monitor the solar setup and then being able to do a one-to-one -one comparison with the electrical grid so hopefully you found this valuable and we will see you again in my zest to make it a quick video i totally forgot something on the screen as you can see right here um, they also generate weekly reports. So if you want to know de uh, specific details on the day that you're generating power, you can just pull up the email report and it gives you a nice summary, as you can see, about um, your different ranges throughout the course of the day. And again, the one I have up right now is, is the solar backup one. And it's, it's, I'm just pretty impressed at the regular consistency that the uh, Renergy 2000 watt inverter is doing, especially considering it I, when I'm home doing office work, which is the most of the time, um, it's what's powering my office. So thank you.